Well, Gideon Omokero, welcome to Tahiti, the OFC Beach Soccer Nations Cup 2023. What a huge opportunity uh, for your team. There's a World Cup in Dubai to try and qualify for. Yes, uh, uh, we've been training very hard for this. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to, to come over. Especially, I'm very excited to uh, uh, participate and compete in this uh, tournament because we have some young players coming in, uh, the team as well, apart from a few old players. So we have the chance to to get them over to try their best for the World Cup uh, in Dubai. The Solomon Islands were a big powerhouse in, in beach soccer up until about probably 2011 and Tahiti has emerged as they are the, ch the champions and they've been in two World Cup finals. So how motivating is it to get your team back to the top? Yes, uh, we've been uh, talking about that, uh, that thing before we come over. We know that uh, Tahiti is a very tough team to beat. If they've been in uh, the finals maybe twice so, and they've been competing so far and we've been missing out a lot from the qualifying uh, in the last OFC, uh, OFC championship, but we are we've been training very hard. We know that Tahiti is strong, and other countries are also strong. All of them, uh, we look to them and we respect them. But we are we'll be trying our best, and we've tried our best in all our trainings to come here to compete. What is the key going to be for your side to achieve success? What has to happen for your side to achieve success at this tournament? Yes, uh, firstly, uh, we try to mix the players around. We get the old, old players, especially the experienced ones, plus new, new, uh, inclusive of new blood into the, the team. So we uh, try to put blend in the mix in order for us to complement each other for this game. And also, we've been training on physical uh, our physical ability and technical ability to to compete as well in this game. Have you got any, well you've got a team full of stars, but anyone you want to single out, any young player that we may not have seen who has come into this squad and and you're confident will will make a difference? Yes, uh, uh, the, we, we have uh, upcoming uh, players like uh, uh, Thomas Amasia, who is a uh, Technically, he's, he's good at uh, all areas of uh, the, other, the game. And uh, uh, Ben Bassi, who is very strong as well. And one of our young, young uh, guys, uh, Mr. John, John Jr., uh, hero, who is very tough, strong. So those are some of the players uh, we are looking at getting them into this uh, game. And they'll continue to carry on the competition for us. Have you got finally a message for the fans back home? We know how passionate Solomon Islanders are about football, about futsal and about beach soccer. So what's your message to the fans? All right. Um, my message is uh, uh, beach soccer is, uh, is, uh, is one of the games that we, we used to get. Uh, uh, Solomon is well known of beach soccer in the past. And now we've uh, gone down a bit. Uh, we try to... To, to get back that name and we've tried our best uh, especially uh, in beach soccer uh, we've been we, we, we are trying to, to get that name up and we need their support and we need all the support from uh, all the stakeholders and uh, federation especially uh, to bring us up uh, among the, the, the top spots in Solomon Island once more especially among beach uh, futsal and, uh, and the living Eleven side and the other courts. So we are, we are trying our best to bring back the name of uh, beach soccer. All the best for a successful tournament. Thank you very much.